Hi, Frank Sesno coming to you from George Washington University and our Planet Forward studios here talking to Bill Wortham. He is the National Director and Resource Architect for Sustainability, the Institute of Architects. And I want to bounce off of you, because mm -hmm. you know sustainability, some of the ideas that have already come to Planet Forward, some of the videos right. that people have already brought here, and ask you to respond to them. So one idea comes from Stephen Peck. He's president and founder of, envi of an environmental not-for-profit organization called Green Roofs for Healthy Cities. One of the things he advocates, and you've talked about this, is more green roofs. He says you can even grow food up there. Mm -hmm. How practical are green roofs uh, for most city buildings? I've worked on many projects from low-income housing to uh, uh, office buildings, skyscrapers that have included green roofs. They are very practical. You have to remember that they are not for people, they're for habitat and they're for stormwater management. So don't think of them as something that you can use as a park, but they are very practical and, and they do make they, a lot of sense. The normal consumer would say, oh, what if it leaks right through? I've got all that soil and roots and all that stuff growing on my house. There's examples of green roofs that have been installed in Europe for hundreds of years and they don't leak. If anything, they protect the membranes from the UV rays of the sun and they actually that's why they don't wear out. So they actually are better and more durable. They're intended to be for the life of structure. Okay, here we go with another idea. This one's from David Madera. He's co-founder of Hemp Technologies, and he builds homes using something called hempcrete, which he claims is carbon neutral. What do you know about hemp homes and the challenges of building these on any kind of reasonable scale? Uh, I don't know much about hemp homes, but if the intent of the material is to reduce the CO2 emissions of the instead of concrete, it's using hemp as, an, as one of the materials that they're putting into it, then that's an idea that as long as it can uh, pass the structural requirements, that's a step in the right direction for reducing CO2 emissions, which is one of the goals of sustainability. Okay, finally, Bill Worthen, another idea that's come to Planet Forward, passive solar on a city-wide scale. This comes from a sustainable city project in New York City. They've talked about building a Hudson Yards project in New York to utilize the benefits of solar passive building and turn toward the sun and um, piazzas designed to take advantage of um, sort of a pedestrian and solar friendly scales. Mm -hmm. What about energy and how much energy can be saved with solar passive heating? So passive design is is one of the things that we we're going to be rediscovering in architectural design over the next few years as we start to embrace sustainability. Um, passive design are things that can allow us after there is a blizzard and we lose power, that might keep your heat, your house 50 degrees instead of 30 degrees. Explain passive. What do you mean by that? Passive taking the energy from the sun or taking natural um, flows of air to heat and cool your environment. Is it anything other than turning a window you want to be warm toward the sun? It's a little more complicated than that because you need to understand the building sciences that go into it. You can't just think that putting a sun, just because you're putting a window in the direction of the sun that it's going to work. There are depths of materials and thermal values, but yeah. So it, what's your assessment of passive solar on a citywide scale? If there is a city that can do that, that is a step in the right direction. Is there one? I am not aware of one to yet to embrace it, but this sounds like they're talking about it. That's the first step. First step, Bill Worth, and thanks very much. More ideas at planetforward.org, more comments and more responses. Best practices are best shared. It all happens at planetforward.org.